Ah, Padawan. I heard your shuttle arriving. I am Master Sio Bakarn of the Jedi Council. Welcome to Tython. This is the ancestral home of our order, where the Jedi first came to be, and where our most promising Padawans complete their training. A chance to see where the first Jedi walked, train where they trained. It's quite an honor. So eager. You and your new master should get along nicely. Your instructors tell me that even in childhood, you had a remarkable connection to the Force. We haven't seen such power in decades. I was hoping your new master would be here. Yuan left her dig site and is returning to Tython specifically to train you. It sounds like Master Yuan's putting a lot of faith in me. We haven't even met. Trust in your initial training. And never forget the Jedi Code. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. This is... Yuan, I was beginning to worry. So you've arrived safely, my Padawan. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we already have a crisis on our hands. I'm at your service, Master. Tython is a treasure trove of ancient Jedi relics. Recently our researchers uncovered several teaching holograms, but they've not been fully studied. These holograms may be records of the founders of the Jedi Order. They're absolutely irreplaceable. But a large group of flesh raiders has begun rampaging through that region. Those priceless holograms are in danger. Is there a way to protect the holograms? Someone must slip past the flesh raiders to recover these holograms projectors. I intend this to be the first task of your training. No, Yuan. You can't risk a Padawan against flesh raiders, even for such important artifacts. A Padawan who was stronger in the Force at four years old than I was at fifteen? Gifted students need greater challenges. So I must recover these holograms and watch for flesh raiders. Where should I begin? The holograms are in the Gnarls. Be vigilant. That region has dangers of its own. If you encounter any difficulties, contact me on this holo communicator. When you have the holograms, meet me at the Jedi Temple. We have much to discuss. Activation protocol begins. So, after the long silence, finally someone comes. I am Garen Jard. Millennia ago, I stood as a founder of the Jedi Order. There are flesh raiders in the area. Your hollow projector is at risk. I'm here to save it. To protect without fighting. A trait I wanted at the core of our beliefs. The Jedi may have changed. But galactic peace has always remained one of our goals. Activision protocol complete. Go well. Activation protocol begins. Ah, another has come to listen. When the Jedi Order was founded, I, Calibrin, said we should devote ourselves to justice. True justice cannot be driven by emotion. We Jedi can set our passions aside and seek the truth without fear or favor. If you can't feel mercy, justice suffers. Sorrow for the victim, or outrage at the crime, can blind us. To see clearly, such feelings must be put aside. It has served us well. We Jedi are renowned for our fairness. Our honesty. Now, that reputation is yours to keep. Activation protocol complete. Activation protocol begins. A new Jedi comes to learn. Excellent. Excellent. I am Ter Sendon, keeper of the histories. A founder and chronicler of the Jedi Order. I saw us becoming guardians of knowledge and secrets. We Jedi would safeguard the wisdom of the galaxy. 
I've come to retrieve the projector for your hologram. It's in danger of being destroyed by flesh raiders. Ah, saving what could be lost forever. My thanks. Activation protocol complete. Master Yuan, I've encountered a problem. One of the hollow projectors has been stolen. Stolen? But the flesh raiders don't steal, they destroy. I'll look into this. If you have the other holograms, come and meet me at the Jedi Temple. I'm sending you directions now. And please, Padawan, be careful. Hey, Padawan. You must be the one Master Yuan mentioned. Must be. If we weren't Jedi, I would say I could tell, because you are as cute as described. But we are Jedi, so I will say nothing of the sort. Sorry, babbling. Master Yuan said to remind you that she says a Jedi needs to learn martial skills and said that I should say you should. And who will train me in these martial skills? Oh, uh, right, right, sorry. Go see Master Weddle in the temple. Doesn't look like much, but he'll show you stuff you wouldn't believe. Good luck. May the Force be with you. There isn't. It's out of my hands, Kaisen. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaisen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. It's an honor to meet you. Dornor Basro, the Endecrus, Sankalis, or Dabrapsak. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. I wanted you to meet before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. I was glad to help, Master. I've identified the hollow projector that was stolen. It contained a, a hologram of Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. This Rajivari's betrayal paved the way for the Sith. Rajivari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. Selling an ancient hollow projector could feed those villagers for months. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the hollow projector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'leks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. We're Jedi. Aren't we obligated to help those in need? This is the Jedi Council's judgment. I might disagree, but the decision is made. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Okay. Break out another cask, or three. The festival only comes once a year, our stores can take it. Just as well. We have an uninvited guest. I see. Festival of Awakening, Jedi. You're not welcome here. I apologize for interrupting. Master Yuan Par asks if you've seen a Jedi holoprojector. Huh. If Yuan Par is asking, Guess we could try and remember. A hollow projector. Yeah, I know what you mean. Nalan found one. Nalan Rollick. Maybe you've heard of him? Sorry, I've only just arrived on this world. Nalan Rollick. Our dueling champion for nine years straight. He once rescued an entire scouting party from flesh raiders single-handed. He planned our defenses. Protects us when we go foraging. Without him, we wouldn't even be having the festival. And no, I am not telling you where he is. Nalan earns his peace and quiet. That hologram's data isn't safe. 
Nayland should be warned. Or do you want to risk something happening to him? Nayland can take care of himself. Against flesh raiders, sure. But some of that Jedi tech is weird. Okay, fine. Nalan went into the Flesh Raiders' territory. He's probably still there. He's been gone a while. Then I should look for him. Enjoy your festival. I think nalan has got a camp out there. If you see him, tell him to be back for the feast. You make a lot of noise. I come for a Flesh Raider, I find a Jedi Padawan. I come to listen, to think among the dead, to fight for my people. Why have you come? My master sent me, to bring Rajabari's holo projector back to the temple. I'm called Nalan Ralok. The others in the village spin tales of their legendary protector. They don't understand. Are the flesh raiders destroyed? No. My people aren't safe until my learning's complete. Tython's relics still have lessons. I listen. I can do things I never imagined possible. I will be the defender my people deserve. Perhaps your studies are making you into something else. Jedi condemn what they can't control. But you're not a concern. Only the Flesh Raiders matter. Rajavari's hologram showed me how to punish them. The Flesh Raiders will come, but not leave. A merciful death compared to what my people have suffered. What crimes have I committed that deserve being buried alive? There are hidden wonders, Jedi. And my journey has just begun. Now run, or die. Padawan, I just spoke to Rana Dauven, the daughter of Kalikori Village's matriarch, concerning your visit there. I want you to meditate on what you learned. Such experiences are what shape us as Jedi. Yes, Master. We should check that Rajivari's hologram is safe. The holo projector was stolen by a Twi'lek, Neelan Ralak. He'd learned force techniques from Rajivari's hologram. He was obviously unstable. A villager? Very unusual. Then this Neelan is force sensitive. Let's see what he saw. Activation protocol begins. A few words. Shall this be all my legacy? No. My enemies are long dead. It is time. Hear me. I have left true wisdom behind. For those who follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order, all else is fleeting. My word. True wisdom. Padawan, he, he's talking about the Fount of Rajivari. What is this Fount of Rajivari? After Rajivari fell, sources claimed he created a great archive of his knowledge and teachings. The Fount of Rajivari. Generations of Jedi searched for it, finding nothing. The Fount's considered a hoax by all reputable scholars, but we just heard proof. Nalan Ralak saw this hologram, Master. More of Rajivari's knowledge could make him incredibly dangerous. The hologram said, follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order. Kaleth! The ruins at Kaleth. The name means Sanctum. It's the remains of an ancient fortress. Evidence suggests Kaleth was destroyed in a great battle. Old droids still walk those ruins today. But this first blade is a puzzle. If it was once a fortress, it could refer to weapons that were stored in Kaleth. We have found several old weapons in one section of Kaleth. Nothing like a first blade, but a good place to begin. Ah. I planned your training so carefully, but the Force has intervened. Finding the Fount of Rajivari and stopping Nalan must be a greater test. Are you saying the Force is guiding me? Sometimes the Force, not the Master, shapes a Padawan's trials. This seems to be such a time. You should know, Padawan. The Council tends to disapprove of such training, but I'll explain everything to them. 
And now focus on exploring Kaleth for this first blade. Call me on your holo communicator at once if you have any success. Show respect. You stand before greatness. The first blade, I guard. It rests with the ashes of its maker, the Weapon Master. I don't know the title. Who was he? He saw Jedi as warriors, not only philosophers. Armed them, protected them. The first blade, first Jedi weapon. From this beginning, lightsabers came. Millennia pass. Only hilt of first blade remains. Only disturbed once. Rajabari came. He proved worthy. Permitted to take the hilt. Later, returned it. Perhaps I could do as Rajavari did. To take the hilt, prove worthy. The philosophy of Jedi combat. Show understanding. The Weapon Master left challenges. Here in Kalef. Training droids to test his students. Find them. Prevail. The hilt of the first blade waits. Telemetry is received. All droids report your battle performance. Satisfactory. In that case, I wish to take the hilt of the first blade from here. Take the hilt. Treat with respect. Fight with honor. Master Yuan, I found the hilt of the first blade. A proto lightsaber from someone called the Weapon Master. The hilt looks as if there's data engraved on it. Of course. The first blade points the way. Rajivari made the legendary weapon itself our guide. The force is certainly with you, Padawan. Please bring the hilt back to the temple at once. I will look into a way to access that data. Hello again, Padawan. I'm glad to see you well. Master Seal Bakar, I was there to greet you when you first arrived. Being greeted by a member of the Council is hard to forget, Master Seal. Interesting. Protocol was never a big focus of Yuan's curriculum. This is Master Jarek Caden, another of the Jedi Council. Yuan told us about Nalin Raylock, the pilgrim seeking Rajivari's secrets. She also claimed the Force is guiding your training. This isn't unknown, but... So the Force influencing a Padawan's training is quite rare. Yuan seems convinced, but trusting blindly in the Force isn't the Jedi way. Good judgment and discipline must temper that trust. First she welcomes that Trandoshan into the temple, now this? She's getting more unorthodox by the day. What do you make of Yuan's claim, Padawan? Master Yuan is my teacher. It isn't my place to question her. Indeed not. That's the Council's responsibility. The Council has agreed to accept Yuan's opinion. For now. But I am concerned about the dangers this path is leading you through. Finding the Fount of Rajavari before Nalan Rolak does is important. But so is your safety, Padawan. Be mindful. Rajivari's hologram proves the same technique existed. Don't you see? It'll resolve that silly debate once and for all. Overexcite? I'm not quite ready to... Ah, Padawan. Much longer and we'd have come looking for you. I thought you might have crossed paths with Nail and Raloc again. How goes your hunting? You said you found the first blade, or its hilt at least. Is it? May I see it? Ah, the folds in the metal, the power cell chamber. These are lost techniques. Our lightsabers began here, with this. I believe these etch marks are encoded information, Master Yuan. And the interior's been modified too, perhaps to hold more. I deciphered a second clue from Rajivari's hologram. To find the Fount of Rajivari, this hilt must be taken to a cave in the Tythonian Mountains. 
The hologram says the Founders meditated in that cave. Debated. They became the Jedi Council. All our codes, our laws, and principles can be traced back to those debates. I apologize, Padawan. Kaizen's devotion to the hunt is quite single-minded. I don't mind. I welcome his help. Good luck and be careful. The hologram said nothing of what might be waiting in those caves. Sorry, I don't understand what you mean by Jagannath points. So hunting is how you serve your goddess, this scorekeeper, and increase your status. It's badly eroded. I can't see anything that might help us. It's a place to begin, at least. Thanks for coming so fast, Jedi. That Flesh Raider stench was making us dizzy. I think we've met before. Yes, we have. Please don't make this hard. Nalan said to wait for you. You've got something he needs. He has to find this Fount of Rajabari to keep defending our village. I'm sorry. You were straight with us. But I have to take whatever first blade you found in Kaleth. Nalan needs it. Nalan only cares about the Fount of Rajavari. Sending you here risked your lives when he supposedly wants to save you. You don't get it. We're all... We're scared. Nalan hardly comes into the village now. Barely eats or sleeps. And when you talk to him, his eyes are so strange. I can't give Nalan what he wants. But stand down and I'll do what I can for him. Something terrible's happening, isn't it? Keep your artifact, whatever it is. Keep it away from Nalan. Jedi, please, don't hurt him. Whatever Nalan's become, he did this for us. Here in this cave, we Founders discussed our vision for the Jedi Order. And I, Rajavari, listened. I listened as they carefully crippled our newborn order, as they argued for mediocrity. It shall not stand. I have laid my plans. With my army made from Tython's true dark sons, I will purge this council of fools while they chatter. Wait, what does he mean by Tython's true dark sons? <laughs> Only my apprentices and I will survive. From Kaleth. We will mold the Jedi into what we deserve to be. If the hilt of the first blade has been returned, we succeeded. And the future follows the path we left. Follow, Seeker. Follow the path to the Fount of Rajavari. It is time. <laughs> Let's take this back to the Jedi Temple. Master Yuan can help us interpret it.
Master Yuan, I believe I have the coordinates for the Fount of Rajavari. Kaizen mentioned as much. Padawan, I just received a very disturbing message. For you, from Nail and Ralok. Survival. Mine, my villages, and yours, Jedi. Interesting to think about. You fooled my people. It doesn't matter. There's other routes to the Fount of Rajavari. Interfere. And I'll kill you. Nalan has truly fallen then, and he wants you dead. You must be vigilant. There must be a way to save Nalan, Master. Or reason with him. He may not give you the chance. You cannot risk yourself. We still have the Fount of Rajivari to find. Let me see those coordinates, Padawan. Perhaps I can get us started. I can sense it's right, Master Yuan. So the second coordinate must be the Tythos Ridge. Yes, those fit exactly. But that leaves this coordinate. We can't triangulate the Fount of Rajivari without it. Perhaps it's a rock formation. With two of us, the search would take half as long. Padawan, look. In the map's code, there's something else hidden here. A warning? The Fount of Rajivari has mechanisms for intruders. Only those who know Rajivari's path will walk through unscathed to gain his wisdom. Rajivari's philosophies are somehow the way past these mechanisms. Likely traps. We know Kaleth was Rajivari's stronghold, and excavators have uncovered ancient computer terminals in Upper Kaleth. Those terminals might hold answers, if they weren't all locked with passwords. The hilt of the first blade accessed the coordinates to the Fount of Rajivari. It could unlock these terminals too. Of course. Those engravings, some of them resemble security algorithms. Go to Upper Kaleth and investigate those terminals for any clue. I'll wait here for Kaizen. We're close, Padawan, I know it. Master Rajvari's gone. The Council survived. We failed. They'll come for us. They'll have to lay siege if they want to take us prisoner. We can't give in. Master Rajvari's fifth principle says showing mercy to an enemy creates a spiral of destruction. We'll take plenty of Jedi with us. Another Jedi today, my seventh. Master Rajavari formed an army from the allies he found past the mountains. We could sure use them now. But they vanished, just left their servants, those cannibals in their stupid camps. Master Rajavari's second principle says all life is a battle, even to your last breath. But our allies didn't leave us a choice. Ugh, the bleeding won't stop. Blast it! Why did I watch Fadria's back? Master Rajwari's seventh principle said it. Sacrificing your strength is the path of a fool. I should have just let her die. It doesn't matter. This siege is nearly over. This can only end one way. Master Yuan, I have the clues we need. Oh, part of one. Back already? What clues did you find? The terminals held the last words of Rajavari's apprentices. So the Jedi besieged Kaleth after Rajavari tried to kill the Council, and his apprentices held the line all by themselves. Remarkable. I think I have everything I need. Should we focus on getting to the Fount of Rajavari? Yes, and when Kaizen brings us the final coordinate, you can... Wait. Where is Kaizen? It's been... How long was I working? I could go and find Kaizen, just to make sure he's all right. He mentioned the waterfall caves, didn't he? If Kaizen has the last coordinate, you can triangulate the fount of Rajivari. 
There's no time to waste, Padawan. Go, and may the Force be with you both. Did Nalan hurt you? I can try to treat your injuries. You're still a person, Kaizen, whether you have a score or not. Kaizen, Master Yuan has been at the Jedi Temple for hours. Nalan must have used some force trick to make you think he was Yuan. He can find it. Whether he can enter safely without the clues I've gathered is another matter. No further, Seeker. You come here unpurified. It is an insult to Rajivari's memory. Rajivari's apprentices were flawed, but they walked the fire and were reborn. Only a personal sacrifice will show your strength and resolve, Seeker. Will you be purified by flame? I will stand in the fire and show you my strength. Powerful words, but self-sacrifice is the path of a fool. <clears throat> the Fount of Rajivari is not kind to intruders. Flee or suffer. After all, I, ho I hoped your head would be Nayland's trophy by now. I came here to prove myself to Nayland, but the traps... It doesn't matter. You're the enemy. If I can still hold a blade, I can stick you in the heart. No living creature's suffering can be ignored. Mercy leads to a spiral of destruction. You don't belong here. Your ignorance should devour you, but all things in time. This Adi Mohan Gask, Makar Gask, Gulk Sasak, Outer Affairs Project. I will not be afraid. I can survive this. Of course, here is the other. Seekers of forbidden knowledge always have their pursuers. If you came for Nalan Relic, he has been and gone. So much is fleeting. But I remain, and I remain the man I was. Rajavari. You can't be alive. The Council struck you down thousands of years ago. Your pet is brighter than he looks. When my body failed me, 
I refuse to become one with the Force. How could I? The Jedi were still imperfect. Here, in my laboratory, I had refined certain devices. I could give one chosen apprentice decades of experience in a day. An apprentice to become worthy to carry my vision. Your wisdom and knowledge were preserved through you and these devices you created. I have waited for new acolytes. I believed Nalin Ralok was a suitable candidate. A disappointment. Nalin walked through the traps instead of solving them. He suffered greatly. You at least survived with your mind intact. Nalin, alas, did not. Can anything be done for Nalin? Possible, but doubtful. I miscalculated. Nalin's mind wasn't equal to the wisdom he demanded. I have made not a successor, but a monster. Nalin will not remake the Jedi. He wishes to destroy them and everything else in this world, beginning with the Great Forge, where lightsabers are made. Without the Forge, the Jedi lose their martial power. You must stop Nalin before he destroys it. I thought you intended to destroy the Jedi. You attacked the Council. I sought to cleanse them, to begin anew. Nalin wants only ashes. That weapon won't suffice against Nalin, but you carry the hilt of the First Blade, an old friend. A simple procedure would convert it to a working lightsaber hilt, and perhaps a crystal from the Forge Caves to power it, given its age. I appreciate your guidance, Master Rajavari. Pass through the caves and seek the Forge at the Mountain Summit. Stop Nalin, this abomination my knowledge has created. I understand what's at stake, and what you've made. I'll find him. No. Stop Nalin before he destroys the Jedi Order. Someday, I will see it saved. Javari instructed me. I have the crystal. I think I'm ready. From Oras Kajava, Gurkunskaka, Orbex, Rajo Ramnor, to Unskaka, Vitoskuzarsk, Mugrotsk, Kajava. Fitting that it's you, armed with the last lightsaber this forge will ever make. Look at him! Another Jedi to nod and preach and do nothing while the Flesh Raiders ravage our home! I know Rajavari's secrets. Horrors that the Jedi, this Jedi, have been chasing, and only I can protect us, our families, and our future. 
Whatever future you'd create for Kalakori Village would be tainted by what you've become. Nalan, this is... You're going too far. How is this protecting us? I did this for all of you. If you can't see the danger, I'll show you myself. Nalan, I don't want to kill you. Then don't fight back. Let's have this done. I'd forgotten the smell of my own blood. I, I yield. You beat Nalan Rollick? Please, you're not going to kill him. I won't kill him. He can go to the Jedi Temple until his fate is decided. But we still lose him. The village needs Nalan's help. How are we going to keep it together? Relying on others to protect you makes you weak. Remember that. We could always depend on him. Maybe we pushed him into becoming this. We can carry Nalan to the temple, Master Jedi. He still belongs to us. Perhaps not, but this is a beginning, not an end. Herald of the Scorekeeper? What is that? If you truly believe I am this herald, I'll do my best to live up to the name. We've been waiting for you, Padawan. You've already met Master Jarek. This is Master Satil Shan. I've been treating Nalan Ralak. The pilgrims who carried him here told us of your battle. Remarkable. I would have brought a peaceful solution if I could, Master. Peace is the ideal, Padawan. But there is no shame in defending yourself. Seems we have much to learn about the villagers. Perhaps we should rethink our position. Enough, enough. Padawan, the Fount of Rajivari, you actually set foot there? Please, tell me everything. Master Rajivari himself spoke to me. What was left of him? You saw a force apparition? Of Rajivari? This is extraordinary. Seems you may have been right, Yuan. I... apologize. To you... And your Padawan. No longer a Padawan. He carries a lightsaber. He has proven himself. I have only one last question before his training is complete. At the moment, Nalan Ralak is resting in a Kolto tank. When he's well, what should become of him? Nalan proved he has great strength in the Force. Maybe he has a future with us. And bring reconciliation between us and the villagers. A sound idea. We judge you ready to accept your place as a Jedi. You on, if you would. Before this council, I take from you the title of Padawan. I name you a full Jedi of our order. Honor the past. Work for the future. May the Force be always with you. You've done so well, my student. I'm... Master Yuan?
Come away. Yuan, can you hear me? Yuan is resting comfortably for now. It seems she's suffering some kind of illness. I can't lie to you. Her condition is grave. Is Master Yuan going to be all right? You knew Yuan was ill and didn't inform us? Now I see why she was so devoted to my training. We're sending Yuan to Coruscant. Our researchers there have been recovering artifacts from the First Jedi Temple. They may have something to cure Yuan. Take a shuttle and join Yuan on Coruscant. She will need your help. Yes, Master. Meantime, assure Yuan we will be studying your discoveries about Rajavari. Some of the claims his apprentices recorded bear investigation. When you reach Coruscant, go to our embassy in the Senate Tower and find a researcher called Atros Finn. He'll be expecting you. Good luck. To you both. And may the Force be with you. You may be correct on that. Failed. I failed. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. Once there were two little boys. Their names were Parkhanus and... and something. Why can't I remember? It's going to be all right. I'm sure you'll remember eventually. Just relax. But I have to remember. Padawan. I'm not mad. The man in the shadows is making me this way. He brings the darkness. It's coming. I can't help you if you don't calm down. Parkanis! Parkanis, where are you? Yuan! Farron, please, see Yuan back to her room. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm Atris Finn, the researcher here. We must get to work finding a cure. She keeps talking about someone called Parkanis. Who is that? You don't know either? Never mind. A cure is what Yuan really needs. The problem is that the greatest collection of learning in the galaxy, the Jedi Temple here on Coruscant, has lain in ruins since the war. I believe the answer to curing Yuan is in the archives of the Temple Ruins, but accessing them won't be easy. If it will help Yuan, I'll get us the information. The Temple's artificers created a system to soar through the vast stores of knowledge. A set of three holocrons that served as guides. The wisdom and personalities of the Order's greatest masters were imprinted on these guides, which they called Noeticons. I see no need for hesitation here. Unfortunately, we don't have the Noeticons. Not anymore. The temple ruins were looted. The Noeticons were taken. I have a lead on one of them, but it's not in friendly hands. <laughs> Republic security spotted some Gan scavengers carrying a Noeticon in the Migrant Merchants Guild. The Republic brought one of the Gand in for questioning, but he won't talk. Being taken in by security must be quite intimidating. Maybe he'll speak to a Jedi. The Republic officer you want is Alec Efren. He's at the security outpost with the Gand right now. And I'm working on a lead for the second Noeticon. I should have something by the time you get back. Good luck. Jedi, welcome. Welcome to the, um, Old Galactic Market, uh, sir. 
I'm sorry, I just... I never met a real Jedi up close. I'm a person, just like you. Um, right. Yes. Well, anyway, this is the, uh, Gand we brought in. He was talking about that Jedi holocron you're all looking for, but he's not exactly, uh, talkative. You refer to yourself as Gand. How interesting. This is your chance to distinguish yourself. Help me save a dying woman by telling me where the special holocron is. If you keep being uncooperative, what happens the next time Republic Security arrests a Gand? Who is this Lars Badig? Is there some sort of schedule that determines who holds it? You have my gratitude. I'll bet the signals have something to do with the Gant hierarchy. Throw up the right one and, and you'll get their leader. Let's see if this works. requires that it be removed for... With all respect, Master Arca, you are incorrect. The structure only appears fractal. If you view it through the lens of the Force, you... I don't suppose either of you is going to move past your petty geometrical squabble long enough to notice we have a visitor. Sorry to disturb such illustrious masters, but I am in need of information. No need to apologize, Jedi. They have a tendency to get carried away. The last person to use the Noeticon got so tired of hearing these two yammer, he shut us down. It was a mercy. Wait, Master Thoris. Where is the Jedi Temple? We seem to have been moved. I'll explain later. For now, I need information on an illness that is affecting my master. How terrible. Come, tell us her symptoms. Perhaps we can help. So, she claims the darkness is coming, and talks of someone called Parcanus, and her mind is most affected. Hmm. I'm afraid we've plied our extensive knowledge of biological, chemical, and technological diseases, but this illness is beyond us. What would you have me do? Sometimes knowledge comes through ruling out false ideas. For once, Master Vandar and I agree. Yuan's illness is definitely not medical, but we have accessed files that bear cross-checking. If you can find the Noeticon of Light, where Masters Noad, Nomi, and Woe guard the Jedi Order's mystical knowledge, they may be able to help. You have my gratitude. I'm sorry we couldn't have been of more help, but it's difficult without the other parts of the Noeticon. Find the Noeticon of Light, and seek your answer there. May the Force be with you. And remember, if you seek answers, 
You must always ask questions. But you're back. Did you find it? The first Noeticon? I talked to the Noeticon's masters. They had advice, but no definitive cure. You actually spoke to them? Amazing. At least we're on the right track. I have a solid lead on the second Noeticon. Unfortunately, it's in Black Sun territory. They're a local gang. Pretty vicious. Yuan needs those Noeticons to help her. Tell me where to go. You have my gratitude. Please, Doc. You gotta help me. I don't want to die. I'm trying to help you. You need to calm down. Wait. What's a Jedi doing here? A Jedi relic may have passed through this warehouse. A relic, you say? Well, unfortunately, I can guess just where it is. Those Black Sun thugs. They call me in to clean up a botched operation, and I find this. They're smuggling contraband off-world. Old Jedi junk, data disks, inside people's bodies. I want the word to go out. The Black Sun stop this. Or the Jedi will stop them. I think they got the message when their smugglers started dying. But Justicai, those vigilantes from the lower city, one of them paid big to get this stuff off world. Quiet like, especially some Noeticon. Justicai's name, he was uh, Lars something. La Lars Badek. Lars Badek gave the Gand another Noeticon to keep safe. He must be behind all this. The smugglers... I can't get the paperwork to go off-world. They're still here. Still hurting. Those smugglers are dying, Jedi. I need that contraband out of them, but I have my hands full here. Just tell me what I need to do. The object I found in this man had a magnetic ID tag, which means that the Black Sun must have scanners to identify their smugglers. You should find one in the other room, and grab some medical supplies. Maybe we can keep these men alive. Please, I surrender. Don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I need to get this item out of you before it kills you. Hey! How did you know? Yeah, that feels better. The thing was hurting worse than an infected thorn bite. Thanks. I owe you one, Jedi. Wise man always seeks knowledge, for he knows that he knows nothing. Welcome, Jedi. It is wonderful to see a face so young pursuing knowledge of the light. You honor us. My master, Yuan Par, is very sick. I'm looking for a way to help her. How terrible that your occasion for consulting us is so tragic. Tell us what you know of this affliction, and we will scour our combined knowledge for an answer. This is most unusual. And very troubling. We've searched our considerable knowledge and compared data from the Noeticon of Science. This illness you've described, it's more like a kind of mind control. How could anyone control the mind of such a powerful Jedi? Well, you could ask... No, Nomi, you can't be serious. What is the matter, Master Wally? I think Nomi Daboda knows best of all of us. I don't dispute her wisdom. But the Noeticon of Secrets is the gateway to dark things. If the mind is not properly prepared to face them... I will use caution, Master Wall. 
I suppose we don't really have any other options, do we? Fear and worry are unbecoming a Jedi. The Noeticon of Secrets is not dark, though some of its secrets are. Go. Bring what we have discovered to the Noeticon of Secrets. Its masters will guide you. Ah, uh, there you are. The Noeticons. How is the search going? Two of the Noeticons gave me advice. When I find the third, we might have a cure. I'm glad to hear it. But right now, I need you back at the Embassy. Yuan has taken a turn for the worse. She attacked my assistant, Farron. I've managed to keep her restrained, but I'm worried what will happen if she doesn't calm down. Perhaps Yuan will quiet down if I talk to her. Yes, I was thinking that myself. Come as quick as you can. Yuan, calm down, please. There's no man in the shadows here. Please, Yuan, calm down. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Ah, yes, Atros, but the darkness is coming. Maybe I want to hurt you. Yes, I think I'd like to break all your bones. I'd enjoy hearing them go pop, pop, pop. You don't want to hurt anyone. Fight it. Fight? I don't know what you're talking about. What's a few broken bones between friends? Want to play? You're hurting people. Calm down, or I'll have to stop you. Oh, now that's not very nice, is it? We're going to have to teach this one a lesson, aren't we, Atros? That must have been awful. To fight your own master. I don't know what came over her. One minute she was placid, and then... It's more imperative than ever that we find the Noeticons. Do you have any leads on the third? Both the Gand and a Black Sun member mentioned Lars Badig, a Justicar. I think he's connected. The Justicars are self-appointed lawmen that police the lower city. Republic security was stretched thin after the attack, so the Justicars took over. Lars Badig is one of their leaders, near the top of the Republic's wanted list. I can take care of myself. Lars Badig is known to hole up in the central tower area. Do be careful. I'll take care of you on while you're gone. It's Jedi, walking into my base, stealing two of my Noeticons. Those Noeticons were looted from the Jedi Temple. You've messed everything up. They said I could rule the Justicar territory if I got them the Noeticons. Just one left, and it's theirs. Whoever they are, if you give me the Noeticon, I'll make sure they don't hurt you. Like you can help me. I already lost two Noeticons. I'm a dead man anyway. Here, take it. This whole thing was a mistake from the start. Oh, thank goodness. A visitor. It gets so lonely in here sometimes. I would offer you a drink, but I ran out millennia ago, by my record. But we could play a game instead. What is this place? Now that is a good question, but a difficult one. I'm guessing you activated what looked like some sort of ancient device. A holocron, maybe? And something went wrong. You zigged where you should have zagged, and you ended up here. How do I get out of here? Well, I suppose I could let you go, but you'd have to play a game with me first. A game of questions. Answer right, you're free. Answer wrong, and your strength becomes a permanent part of this place. Those terms don't sound very fair, but I'll do my best. Excellent. Such an accommodating guest. Okay, the first question. How do you catch an answer? You lure it out with a question. Too obvious, I suppose. It's no fun when you get the answer right. Next question. What does the wise person know? What is right and what is wrong? What is true and what is false? Oh dear. 
Wrong answer. That means you pay the penalty. <laughs> Last question. Soon this place will be overrun with enemies. What will you do? None of this is real. These enemies will not harm me. You are a fool. While you sit and meditate, your enemies trample you underfoot. You perish. Like I promised, sir. The Jedi won't be a problem anymore. Now your master won't mind about those other Noeticons, right? He might not. Only it seems your plan was a failure. What the... But look! He's weaker! It did work! But Runa... Who's that object? I would have preferred if our little trap had killed you. Not that it mattered. The Noeticons are nothing on their own anyway. They wouldn't have stopped me or my master. Are you the one who's making Yuan ill? Yuan? Is that her name? Her weak mind already bows to my master. Just as you all will. Maddox, what are you waiting for? Earn my master's forgiveness. Kill this wretch. Be careful where you walk, Jedi. The path of the dark side intersects with that of the light at many crossroads. This is the Noeticon of Secrets. We are the masters who have seen the darkness and turned back to the light. The other two Noeticons told me you might know something about a Jedi plague. If the Noeticon of Science and the Noeticon of Light had no answers, what makes you think we can help? They're neither doctors nor healers. Patience, Bastila. What she means, Jedi, is that for you to consult us, this illness must be remarkable indeed. Yes, I'm sorry. Tell us what you know about this illness, and we will see what we can find. My master has gone completely insane. Of course. Start from the beginning, and describe everything you've seen. You are right to consult us. It was only those things eliminated by the other Noeticons that put us on track. It's an illness the Jedi had seen before. One created by an ancient Sith named Tarek Morhage. He used it to turn Jedi to the dark side by the hundreds and leech their strength from them. In this way, he waged war on the Jedi. Is there any way to stop it? A Jedi healer whose sacrifice, unlike his name, has not been forgotten, developed a shielding technique to release Morhage's hold on his victims. One by one, the healer cut Morhage off from his army, the source of his strength. Each time he used the technique, however, it cost him some of his own strength. By the time the battle was won, the healer was weakened beyond the point of recovery. He sacrificed his life to save the Jedi Order. Is it possible for someone to learn this technique? The ritual is recorded in an ancient terminal in the Jedi Temple. Learning it will require the combined knowledge of all the Noeticons. If you are thinking of learning the technique, Jedi, I would caution you. Powers such as these weigh heavily on those who wield them. But it seems your master doesn't have time for caution. For your master to survive, you must go to the Jedi Temple and learn the ritual as soon as possible. I will go there as soon as possible. Then we will do our best to help you learn the technique. Take all three Noeticons to the terminal in the temple and activate them. We will teach you what you must know. Later, others may learn the technique as well. But for now... Time is of the essence.
I need to talk to you. I have bad news. Yuan's illness has begun to affect her body. She's losing strength, fading fast. Are you any closer to finding the last Noeticon? I've found it, and the Masters have told me how to find a cure. It's in the ruins of the Jedi Temple. A cure? At last! Just be warned. The ruins of the Temple are crawling with danger. And getting there means passing through the works. They're not safe either. Be careful, but hurry! I don't know how long Yuan will last. This is it. The database where the ritual that can shield your master from the plague is kept. A stellar work. One part computer, one part holocron. Truly ingenious. I'm sure under happier circumstances I could lose myself in it for hours. Masters, you know why we've gathered. The Jedi Order is imperiled by an ancient plague. One that warps the minds of even the wisest of masters and turns them to the dark side. This young Jedi has stepped forward in search of a way to help his ailing master and save the Jedi Order. But he cannot do it without our help. Millennia ago, a powerful ritual was developed to shield the Jedi from the power of this ancient plague. The ritual cut off the Plague Master from his victims, but it exacted a great price from the healer who wielded it. It is once again necessary for someone to use the ritual. The ritual is a difficult one to learn, Jedi, and will take many hours of deep meditation and study. Are you ready to learn it? I am ready, Master. Then open your mind, and we will teach you. You seem to have mastered everything we have to show you, Jedi. Such a bright, inquisitive mind. It has been an honor to teach you. But remember, the shielding ritual will draw on your strength, and you can only regain what you've spent when the Plague Master's bond with his victims is broken. How do I break the bond between Plague Master and victim? Death was what broke the hold of the original Plague Master, Tarek Morhage. But there may be another way. You now have the knowledge you need to save your master. Use it wisely and well, and may the Force be with you. Reckless, foolish Jedi. So eager to find a cure for your master, you led us right to the prize. My master and I are most grateful. No one is going to stop me from saving you on par, whoever you serve. Ah! There. No more terminal, no more ritual. No miracle healing this time. Except for mine, you mean. My healing. What good will that do you? The technique kills those who wield it. How many could you have shielded before it killed you? One? Two? Even if it was a hundred, ultimately you would collapse. If my destiny is to become one with the Force, then so be it. Well, in that case, let me hurry you to your fate. Finally, there you are. I've been kept apprised of your situation. The Council is very concerned about Yuan's health. We've been trying to contact you for hours. Did you find anything in the Jedi Temple? The Ancient Masters taught me a technique to shield Yuan. So there is hope after all. Hurry back. Yuan is fading fast. Any delay could be costly. Oh, you're here! Quickly! We're barely detecting a pulse on Yuan. If there was any time to test what you learned in the temple, it's now. The Masters taught me well. 
Yuan's life is in your hands now. Padawan, no. No, I was making you a Jedi. What happened? I feel so much better. But why do you look so weak? What did you do? I shielded you from the person who was making you ill, but it took some of my strength. Thank you, and I'm sorry. The last thing I remember clearly is your ceremony on Tython. Oh, my student, I am sorry I wasn't a better master. What matters is that whoever was hurting you can't do so any longer. I could feel someone else in my mind, polluting my thoughts, twisting them. You won't be fully cured until he is defeated. I really wish I could give you more details, but my memory of that time is hazy at best. Pardon me. The Council wishes to speak with you when you're ready. I will speak with them immediately. Thank you again for helping you on. And teaching me a few things as well. I'll be all right for now. Go to the council. We can speak later. Ah, you're here. Thank you for contacting us so quickly. We're sorry to have to pull you away from you on. We wouldn't have called you here if it wasn't urgent. First, tell us what you've learned about Ewan's illness. It's a plague created by a Sith named Tarek Morich. Here's what we know. Interesting. And worrying. We've started to receive disturbing communications from other masters. We fear Ewan's illness is not an isolated case. The illness was created by Tarek Morich, but a different Sith is using it now. I don't know his name, but I fought his apprentice in the temple. Yes. It's imperative that we find this Sith before the illness spreads further. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have no leads. We can only hope that tracking down and shielding the victims will help lead us to this Sith. You need me to find these masters and cure them. A small number of victims suggest that this Sith needs some sort of contact with his victims to control them. I hesitate to ask any more sacrifice of you. You've already done so much. But with the terminal in the temple destroyed, you are the only one capable of shielding the afflicted masters and stopping this Sith, whoever he is. I will do whatever I can. You'll need to be able to move freely around the galaxy. To that end, we've prepared a ship for you in the spaceport. Thank you, masters. I will use it well. You have more than earned it. The missing masters were last heard from on Terras and Nar Shada. Find them, and break the Plague Master's hold on them. Say your goodbyes to Yuan. But time is of the essence. Good luck. Ah, it's good to see you through my own eyes once more. What did the Council have to say? Other Masters have fallen ill. The Council has asked me to save them. I see. But there is still someone we must find. The person behind this. Whoever was in my mind. Stop him, so that I don't have to be shielded anymore. So your strength can be restored. <laughs> Remember. Let your instincts guide you. Keep to the Jedi Code, and may the Force be with you. Calling Coruscant Spaceport Authority. Am I clear to depart? We've cleared the board for you, Master Jedi. Good flying. <laughs>